Assalamu alaikum alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I don't know what's going on. Don't hate me. It's not my fault. We had all kinds of technical issues. I'm here to answer your questions. Forgive me, brothers and sisters. Where are you at? Yalla, yalla. Hey, ahlan, ahlan, ahlan. Ahlan bil mashayikh, yalla. I'm all yours. I'm confused too. I'll tell you what happened, ya Qura. <clears throat> we were trying to use this uh, software to stream the talk that I had with those uh, brothers from ProfCon, whatever they're called, and it just didn't work. The whole thing was laggy. First, they had issues, and after their issues were resolved, then we had issues. So we had to close the OBS, which is that software for streaming. And yeah, so I finished my talk with them, but I'm here for you now to make up for the blunder. So tell me what's up. I'm a little confused right now. All right, all right. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Can you tell me if Maqdis Quran is reliable? I don't know what Maqdis Quran is. What is Maqdis Quran, ya Shaykh? Oh, Shaykh. Alhamdulillah, I watch a lot of Islamic videos. Everything from Ali Da'wa to NAK to you. Mm -hmm. Unbreak my heart. Hey. Did the Quraysh have Tawheed al rububiyya If so, why did they believe in other gods? Doesn't that mean that they had no Tawheed al rububiyya That's what Athari asked me. Uh, of course, they had Tawheed al rububiyya uh, But they believed that those other gods or those other uh, entities were their intercessors with Allah. That's why Allah says, If you were to ask them who created the heavens and earth, they will say Allah. So they believed in the rububiyyah, but in terms of uluhiyyah, they gave the uluhiyyah to other than Allah, which is what people do right now. Even people that worship any ideology or they worship their own brain, they believe in Allah, but they give their brain authority over the revelation of Allah. It's the same thing. It has a word for word translation. I know, but I don't know it, ya Halima. I don't know it, so I cannot answer is it shirk to say, oh, slaves of Allah, help me? Of course it is. In what sense, though? Meaning if, you're, uh, if they're next to you, like if some of the slaves of Allah are next to you and you're drowning and you say, oh, slaves of Allah, help me, that's completely fine. That's not shirk. But if you're calling on some dead people or some jinn or someone who's not there and you think they're going to come and aid you, then of course it's shirk. Assalamu alaikum, wa alaikum salam. What's the ruling on eating with female cousins while their maharim are present? Um, you cannot, uh, you cannot co-mix with your female cousins because you can marry them. I don't know how to highlight the question. Okay, how, <laughs> how to truly attain? Okay, wait. Is it okay to read Quran wearing sleeveless? Of course, it's okay to read the Quran wearing sleeveless. You can wear sleeveless and read the Quran all you want. Uh, how to truly attain humbleness? I want to become humble slave of Allah. By knowing that you're nothing but a sperm and you're going to be put in the dirt. Not able to succeed. Advice. Keep trying. Uh, please check it out when you get hold of Inshallah Zakallah Khair. Maqdis Quran. I'll, I'll see if I'm able to Inshallah. Uh, Maqdis Quran is a publication of Quran. It's very good Mashallah. Okay, uh, we endorse uh, Iman's homeschool uh, endorsements in general. So if, uh, if they know what they're talking about, then I'm sure they know what they're talking about Inshallah. If someone says that uh, Allah has no limbs, does that make him... And Ash'ari, no, because we don't we don't want to affirm affirm limbs to Allah Azza wa Jal either. We don't really use those terms. We don't describe Allah with that which He did not describe Himself with. Um, 
uh, nor do we deny what Allah Azza wa Jal described himself with. So that, that question in and of itself is not sufficient to claim that someone is um, an Ash'ari or not. If you want to understand the subject matter more, please refer to the weekly Aqidah class where we delve into these things on a, on a, in a very specific manner. Opinion on Sapiens Institute. Wow, I don't know. Sounds, uh, sounds weird though. Sapiens? What do you think about democracy? Uh, democracy is haram because Allah Azza wa Jal did not reveal democracy as uh, the constitution for uh, a government. It's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who legislates and democracy, it goes tooth and nail against that. I have a lecture on, the, on YouTube titled uh, Plots and Reactions. You can refer to it. I've discussed the issue of democracy over there. Is it haram to chat with the opposite gender at all? Well, technically speaking, uh, if you're just chatting for the sake of chatting, you're not asking a question and getting an answer and you're just being silly, then of course you know that it's haram. May Allah forgive us all. Oh, mashallah, you guys don't have any questions at all. I'm being sarcastic. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, Ustad. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. What is the difference between manhaj and aqidah? Very easy. Aqidah is the belief system that you adhere to in order to attain salvation. Manhaj is the path that you follow to stick to that aqidah. It's the way that you go about it. Um, my question is, is refuting and rejecting speakers a part of Hizbiya? No, it's not. It is obligatory to reject and, and warn against and, and refute speakers of falsehood. And it doesn't make you a Hizbi in any way, shape or form. Is Nike haram to wear? There's a difference of opinion among the scholars. Um, a lot of some of them say yes, it is because it's the you know goddess uh, of victory, the the Greek god goddess of victory, uh, and many say, but who knows that? You know, most people are not aware of that, so they don't make a big fuss out of it. I cannot give you a fatwa myself, but that's what the two opinions say. Salam alaikum, alaikum salam. What's the ruling on taking pictures with my phone? Does it become haram if it's on paper, or if I keep it on my phone? Is it there? Yes, I'm of the opinion that taking pictures with the phone is permissible, um, and that is not the position I used to have in the past, but that is the position that I have now based on my fiqhi understanding of the subject matter, uh, not based on other reasons. And certainly printing it becomes a, a red line. You're not allowed to print it. You may not print it. So as long as it's in a digital format, then you're good to go. If you print it, it's a no-no. Um, yeah. Assalamu alaikum alaikum salam. Is it okay to make small skits to give dawah? If it's going to be based on acting, I'm, I personally don't believe it's okay. If it's acting, I, I'm, I, I follow the position that it's not okay because it's a form of lying. Wallahu alam. Brother, have you seen my comment about your mistake in the Shia lecture? Uh, Tayyip is saying this made my day a form of shirk. Also, if someone teaches us things related to the religion, such as Aqidah, Tawheed, and so on, can you can we say this made my day? It's totally fine to say this made your day. Because what do you mean by that term anyways? It's about your intention. It, it, the, the, Amer the English expression, this made my day, meaning this made me happy. This was like the best thing that happened to me today. It doesn't mean that it made your day as in it created your day. Come on. No one means that. No one means that. It's what you mean. And the term is a very generic term. You know, you made me happy. Then you, could, you have to also say that that's shirk because only Allah makes you happy. Now, that is now getting way too technical to the point that you're giving yourself a hard time. I want to know if that was really a mistake or something. Perhaps I myself, I'm not clear on. I don't remember yeah, if I was. And I think you gave a, a lecture on my lecture and I didn't pay attention to it. I don't remember what it is right now. And so uh, if I'm wrong, I stand corrected. I have no problem in, in admitting that I was wrong and I stand corrected. Life goes on for me. Um, do you have to have wudu in order to hold the Quran? Yes, you need to have wudu in order to hold the Quran. Have you heard of the blessed tree from Jordan? 
people go make dua there because they said Prophet ﷺ made dua there. Is that true? Whoa, no, no, no. I haven't heard of it, but that's a problem. That is a problem right there. Where did I study? In school. Uh, I heard uh, Imam Ahmad said, okay, fine. I, I have mentioned that a million times, guys. I studied with Abu Mujahid uh, Farid Abdullah in Los Angeles and then with Sheikh Muhammad Mukhtar Shinkiti in Jeddah. And, uh, you know, the list goes on. I, 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 don't, I don't like to speak about the, the little bit of things that I've done. Uh, I said, I heard Imam Ahmad said to, oh, saves of Allah help me when he was lost. Uh, is this true? No, I'm not familiar with that. And Imam Ahmad was the Imam of, of Tawheed. And so to attribute shirk to him is outlandish. Usually this gets from some of these Barelvis or uh, some of these other crazy sects who want to claim that Ab Ibn Taymiyyah was Sufi, Ibn Qayyim was Sufi, uh, Imam Ahmad was Sufi, and all of yeah, I mean, They want to say anything just to justify their stances. Uh, Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brother, is it fard for man to wear the pants above the ankle some people say it's just you do it out of pride i have a lecture on the subject titled hell equals garment and in short yes i am of the position that it's haram to wear your clothes beneath your ankles i'm of that position now um is muhammad what does that mean must we say Fatiha in every rak'ah or only when the Imam is silent? You recite Fatiha in every rak'ah, whether you're praying by yourself or you're praying behind the Imam. How often do you get a haircut, Sheikh? I'm not a Sheikh, but I cut my hair usually every other day unless I'm lazy. If I'm lazy, then every three to four days, if I'm not lazy, every other day. Because my hair, mashallah, grows in 15 minutes. I shave, and then 15 minutes later, my hair is, is grown again. So, yeah, I, I enjoy being bald. And it's I have a medical condition. I get dandruff ever since I moved to Saudi Arabia. So in one way or another, I'm kind of forced to shave. But I also enjoy being bald. I wish that was not a question because it's so unimportant. I'm sure other people are like, what the heck are you talking about? What a waste of their time. Uh, طيب, 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 طيب. Uh, when, uh, have you done any research into cryptocurrency? What is your opinion regarding investing in crypto? Wallah, I have not. I have not. Uh, it is definitely something that needs uh, looking into. But I am generally not strong in the area of transactions and business transactions. So I don't even have the proper foundation for me to even dig deeper into this issue. That's why I know my role. I know my limitations and I back off the things that I don't, you know, I cannot, I'm not qualified to speak about. And I'm honestly not qualified to speak about Bitcoins and cryptocurrency and all that stuff. It's not my field. It's not my field. Uh, Sapiens Institute is an institute where people like Muhammad Hijab teaches. Oh, Muhammad Hijab has the good and has some things that are definitely worthy of being uh, criticized. I am in touch with him, and uh, I don't want to make any public statement until until I'm given a chance to discuss all the things that I have on my mind with him. So, uh, Allah al-Musta'an, I cannot speak on this. It's not enough to say that Fulan teaches over there. Uh, it, it's the whole package. It's who else is teaching there. What are they teaching? Then we could pass a judgment. Naam. Opinion of Muhammad Hijab Ali Dawa, same thing. Same thing. I don't really follow Ali Dawa. Um, I'm not really familiar with what uh, he's about. Uh, and so I'm not in a position to speak about him. Uh, Muhammad Hijab, I have many points of contention, many, 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 many points of contention with him. Uh, but I've also co lectured with him in Malaysia and I've seen from him care and sincerity for the religion. Uh, but I disagree with him on. Psh, a good 60-70% of things. Uh, nevertheless, I would prefer to speak to him, inshallah, about these issues before I ever make a public statement besides this one. Uh, is there any difference between polytheism and shirk or the same thing? Well, yeah, it's, it's just an English equivalent. Polytheism is an English equivalent that means many gods. Poly means many like polygony and, the, and, and, and theism and theist is a, you know, a God believer. So it's the concept of many gods, which is shirk, associated partners with Allah. 
Um, this Athari person argued that uh, Abdul Wahab changed the Shahada because if you have Tawheed al rububiyyah that means you automatically have Tawheed al uluhiyyah He says those who are not separate. Man, listen, man, you listen to Yasir Qadi long enough and you will start looking at your father and telling him, are you my father? Are you my grandfather? Are you my uncle? Like, who are you? Like? Like, if you're going to listen to Yasir Qadi, I don't know who Athari, man. If he's Athari, then he's going to be like us because we're Atharis. I don't know what you're talking about, uh, random user. Can you change the name from how can you be called random user and then expect people to answer you? Come on, people. Even when you choose a name, choose a name that yani, that makes sense. Random user is a turnoff. It's a turnoff, yeah, Sheikh. Anyways, bro, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what this Athari is talking about, but that is a ramification of this wuku puku tata tutu yasir qadi nonsense. Three and a half lecture, three and a half hours of of library chat where he's chatting with himself. Who has a three and a half hour chat with himself? You call this a chat? Chat is when you talk to another creature. No Yasir Qadi, man. We're not gonna spend our life refuting the, the, the stupidity that he disseminates all the time. Otherwise that will be, I will have no other job. My whole da'wah career will be refuting Yasir Qadi because every day he has a musibah. I listened to his talk about Jesus and the belief in Jesus. Still, you can take 10 things of, of major grave of, of nature that he, he seeps into the, the, the topic that will leave you confused. And only people that, are, that know the, the subject know what I'm talking about. He's slowly trying to have you reach the point where you cannot even pass takfir on anyone, even if someone outright denied authentic traditions from the Prophet Sallallahu that's besides the point. Anyways, uh, Ustaz, what is the advice for those who constantly think on the past, wishing they could go back and use their youth to memorize the Quran and Mutun and learn Arabic instead of uh, wasting their youth? Stop. Stop. What's the point, man? You're the son of today. You're the son of today. Anta ibn al You are the son of today. What happened in the past is in the past. And Allah Azza wa says, wa asa an khayrun lakum. Perhaps you might hate something and it is best for you. Khalas, leave it as Allah decreed it for you. Enjoy what Allah has decreed for you and, and don't delve on it. That energy that you're spending on reminiscing on the past, you could have spent it to memorize a metan or some Arabic vocabulary. Sheesh, does anyone know what time period Adam was created? Yeah, many years ago. Is celebrating baby shower or bridal shower haram? If we have no music, just ladies, that's fine. Because bridal showers and baby showers are not things that you do on annual basis. It's a one-time event related to, uh, you know, an occasion. Just like if you get a job, you can have a little celebration for the job that you got. Uh, unless you get a job every year on the same day, then you have a problem. Hey, Aina Anta Ayuharajil. Wa alaikum salam. Ruling on the one who went for Umrah, however, didn't complete it due to ignorance. What's the ruling on the broken rituals? That he has to go complete them and he has to pay the compensation for the violation. You must complete the Umrah and you must pay the violation, the compensation for your violation. This is the haqq of Allah Azza wa Jal that you cannot keep unfulfilled. Please, brothers and sisters, stop talking, asking irrelevant questions. Why would you ask how often the brother cuts his day? Okay, Halima too. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi What's the non sequitur? Oh. <laughs> uh, bro, you almost got me there. Remember that guy? Is it? Yeah, Ustad Ibn Abu Bakar. Can you please ask the question either in English or in Arabic? Don't mix both. What is, is Muhammad is Hayatan Nabi? That's not Arabic, I promise you. And according to the English audience, it's not English either. So for me, you've asked more than once, Habibi, if you see that I read your question and I didn't grasp it, reword it, reword it. Hey, it's okay if you forgot, Salaamu Alaikum. Many people have done it on your behalf. Oh, why do you listen to Yasir Qadi? I listen to Yasir Qadi because I want to see where he's going with, with where he's going. I, do, I don't listen to him to learn from him. I listen to him because that's my field. That's my field. That's the field of people giving da'wah. Trust me. 
I listen because I need to be aware of what, what is the agenda. At this point, I'm convinced there's an agenda. It's no longer just mishaps and, and just mistakes. There's an agenda, and I need to know what this agenda is so we can be ready. We can be ready to warn the Muslims accordingly. That's why I listen. What book would you recommend for the new student of knowledge? Kitab al-Tawheed. Kitab al-Tawheed, ya Emily. The book of Tawheed uh, by uh, Imam Muhammad Abdul Wahab, uh, rahimahullah ta'ala. Uh, ha, user, I know you mean on Twitter, I saw a 30 claiming that type anyways. Uh, Hisham, Spain, would it be a haram for, to ask for father's phone of a sister through social media if you don't have any sister or cousin who can do that for you? Or is it better to leave it? No, it's fine. If you're just going to ask for the father's phone number so you can speak to the father about the young lady, that's fine. But that's all that you ask for. Don't tell her your biography first. Who are the contemporary scholars that we should follow? I have answered that question so many times. Sheikh Abdurrahman. Scholars, we're not scholars, we're du'at. If you mean big scholars, we're talking about Sheikh Abdul Karim Khudair, Sheikh Muhammad Saleh Al Fawzan, Sheikh Abdul Sheikh Al Abdul Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Rahim Al Badr. Can't remember the name right now. Anyways, so those are among the scholars, of course. And then you have the English-speaking du'at. We've mentioned them. Abu, Sheikh Abdul Rahman Hassan, Muhammad Tim Humble, Abu Taymiyyah, Abu Ibrahim Husnain, uh, Sheikh Abu Sam al-Dhahabi, our brothers, uh, our brother Sajid Lifim, and, uh, you know, the, the people that you've seen me work with and collaborate with in the past. Tayyip, uh, Q&A said that it's not shirk. Think you misunderstood what I said. Tayyip, forgive me, brother, if I misunderstood. Any plans of visiting Kashmir, Ustad? Habibi, I don't visit any place until I'm invited. That's how it, that's how it goes. People invite a speaker, a speaker goes. I don't think I could just like say, okay, let me go visit Kashmir, then go there and say, hey, by the way, guys, I'm here. I want to give a talk. Who was interested? It doesn't work this way. So I don't know. I think I've been invited before, but it always coincided with another event, so I was never able to go. Anyways, if there's an invitation, then we can look into it. Uh, uh, post Corona, uh, I guess not now. We're running out of time. We're running out of time. I need to pray Maghrib. Akhi, what are your thoughts on a cryptocurrency? I already answered that. I'm not. Uh, I'm not well versed in that science, so I just keep my mouth shut. Uh, what is a good response when people bring up Aisha's age? I have a talk on YouTube. Watch it. I have a clip on YouTube. I hope someone will will post the link on how to respond and how to defend and how to prove that Aisha was actually married at the age of six, consummated at the age of nine, and how we have absolutely no problem with that. Should never be scared or defensive. It should always be on the offense. Which books should uh, we start reading after Quran to study more about the deen? Uh, whatever, I mean, again, there's the books of Aqidah. These are the most important things. The books of Iman, uh, basic fiqh books, basic hadith book, uh, basic seerah, the seerah of the way of the Prophet Sallam, primarily uh, the sealed nectar by Imam uh, Mbarak Furi, rahimahullah. Uh, how to balance between fear and hope? By staying in the middle. You guys are going to hate me. But it's okay. That's how I roll. You don't got to love me. How to remove evil thoughts? Is there any, uh, is there a certain strategy? Uh, am I supposed to give like... How am I going to stop myself from being silly and sarcastic? Such a difficult thing for a sarcastic person not to be sarcastic, you know? How to remove evil thoughts? Uh, and uh, is there any certain strategy? You seek refuge with Allah Azza wa Jal from evil thoughts and you, you have good assumption about Allah. Um, is uh, burping a sign of you to overeat? Not necessarily, but it could be. Uh, why aren't you wearing... Why aren't you warning about the vaccine? Because I cannot, I'm, I'm not a doctor to be warning against the vaccine and to say whether the vaccine is something good or bad. I myself don't know whether I'm going to take the vaccine or not. It's not black and white, Habibi. There are opinions on both sides and I'm not uh, an expert to say that this is 100% haram or 100% halal. Uh, salam alaikum. Your sense of humor is mashallah. Mashallah. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Um, 
Tayyib, 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 where are we? I should take... Uh, Akhi, should people take knowledge on TikTok? No, man. No, 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 then no. I downloaded this TikTok because some brother told me, look, man, it's a good platform for da'wah. And man, all I saw was, was, was people dancing. Like no matter what I did, it was people dancing. And I said to her brother, he said, oh, yeah, it's because of your, what you viewed. Or what you, I said, no, Akhi, this was like from the get-go, from the moment I downloaded. He said, well, this is not what happens with me. I said, oh, yeah? Wallahi, this happened. So he opened his phone, opened TikTok. As soon as he did, the first thing that came up was some lady, you know, shaking her, whatever. I was like, man, look. He's like, oh, well, I said, bro, what the hell? What is this TikTok? I uninstalled it. I couldn't keep it for more than a couple of hours. It's Zubala. It's trash, man. It's trash. Absolute trash. And while you might find some good stuff over there, how are you going to avoid all the haram? You can't even avoid all the haram. Is you crazy? You must be crazy. Okay. Um, Aina Antum. Speaking about the agenda, remember when Dawah man told you that the next disaster? Yes, I remember, Ya Fawaz. I remember clearly. I am Ahmed Ustad. I am young. Should I go to Medina University or first pursue secular education and do a job and seek knowledge uh, part time? Whatever your parents tell you to do, do. Tell, present your case to your parents. Whatever direction they give you, implement and execute. Brother, off topic. But it is permissible to use sugar alcohols like Sobitol? I don't know, bro. I don't know. How long is this going to be? I don't know, but I need to go soon. Um, you pay... Rent or own a home? What in the world? <laughs> La, yeah. Slow down. Yeah, slow down, 17. You need to slow down 17 miles from the current speed you're going because this was borderline crazy. What in the world do you care if I pay rent? <laughs> My mother doesn't ask me this question, yes, Sheikh. What? What college of study would you recommend from the University of Medina? Uh, I would say Kulliyat al dawa our Aqeedah. What to do if your time for zakah is coming up and you have passed the threshold, but you have um, lent the money to someone who currently don't possess it? Do you have to wait another year or, or I don't know what? Uh, there's a fatwa on Islam QA regarding this. I prefer that you get it from the source. Um, Sheikh Abdul Razak Al Badr, thank you so much, Amatullah. Jazakallah khairan. Subhanallah. Is it halal to write a song without any musical instruments and sing it to wife? Uh, knock yourself out, man. Knock yourself out. But you know, don't choose some lousy words, huh? Just call it a poem. Why do you have to call it a song? Call it a poem. Uh, I'm going to skip that one because it's been asked a million times. One of my family member is helping her financially. And she says it's good to be stable first. And then we get uh, married soon. Is there... In, what? Is she right? And she's already 28. What? Wait, is this connected with another question or this is where the question begins? One of my family members is helping her family financially and she says it's good to be stable first and then get married soon. If she, I mean, honestly, I don't know. That's not enough information to be able to tell you something beneficial. Um, it's not her obligation to be helping her parents as a female, but if that's if she's the only one who's who's able to help, then Zallahu khairan. If she's delaying her marriage for that, then we hope Allah will bless her accordingly. Uh, طيب. Guys, I will ask, I will answer a couple more questions that I will have to uh, jet. Barakallah feekum. Uh, they are, they say that the user has a profile picture with cat, I think, or accessory that you believe bring luck is shirk. What about the one that gives confident? I don't understand. What's your take on Saudi government not granting citizenship to foreigners, kids, born in KSA? That's their business, man. That's that's how that's their business. So many countries are the same way. So many countries, uh, except some countries in the West, 
will not give you the citizenship if, you're, if your children are born in that country. Uh, very, very plain and simple. You just go by the father. What? And why would I comment on a political matter? This is a political matter. People want to connect this with Islam. Does Islam say, does anywhere in the Quran and Sunnah says that if you're born in a country, then you become a citizen of this country? Does Islam get involved at that level with these issues? No, it does not. So that is a political question, Ya uh, Ghanima. That is not really my, my position to speak about, nor is it an Islamic subject to even be discussed. That's up to them. I wish it was different so that my kids would have been Saudi, but subhanAllah, khalas, yani, I accept the qadr of Allah and I'm not tripping. Yeah, we said Sheikh Saleh al-Fawzan. We did, we did. Did I say Muhammad Saleh al-Fawzan? Maybe that's why, Sheikh Saleh al-Fawzan. Anyway, Saleh, Saleh al-Fawzan, naam. Sheikh, do you know who is Abu Layth? I know who's Abu Layth. Abu Layth is not worth a, a lick of attention. You know a lick, just a lick of attention? No, nah, not worth it. I mean, I mean, you either are giving da'wah or you're a clown. And with all due respect to the clowns, I think they will be insulted if you put uh, Abu Layth in the same category as them. Uh, can you get me a job at Samsung? Jokes aside, a question. How do we take, uh, how do we strike balance between human intellect and divine revelation? And uh, no, I cannot get you a job at Samsung. You got to get your own job, Habibi. Uh, as for striking the balance between human intellect and divine revelation, very simple. Forget about your human intellect. Stick to the revelation. Use your intellect to understand the revelation. Oops, Sajid is here? No, Sajid, no. What in the world? No, no, hey, hey, you cannot just be here like with the people just leaving a comment telling me that you love me. I cannot handle that, Akhi. Sajid, no, we should, hey, come on, man. Can we bring you on to the screen and have a nice little um, uh, uh, jingy bingy wong wong together? No? Maybe next time, inshallah. It looks like you guys don't have any questions at all. What is this? Yeah, Akhwan, this is a long list of madness. I don't even know where I'm at anymore. Okay, y'all gonna hate me, but I have to leave. <laughs> oh my goodness, what just happened? Yasmin Mujahid, forget about listening to Yasmin Mujahid. That's not gonna happen. Okay, no, but he asked about live scholars, yeah, Hussein. That's why I didn't mention Sheikh bin Baz and Sheikh bin Uthaymeen. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, no, don't say that, yeah, Aqsa. Don't hurt my feelings. Abu Musab, are you a PlayStation 5? No, I'm an Xbox. Tayyip. Uh, <laughs> what in the world's going on here? Oh, those live sessions are hilarious. Okie dokie. Yalla, yalla. Ana abga roh. Ata ta'arif illa yamani. Ana yamani. Lazim amshi. Look at this. Yeah, Tom, you're asking me if ProfCon Wisdom Global are okay to listen to when I just had a lecture over there. <laughs> okay, this is overwhelming. I have got to go. Jazakumullahu khairan. And barakallahu feekum. Wa faqakum Allah li mayhubu yarda. We will see you next time, inshallah ta'ala. We'll have another Q&A, maybe uh, as entertaining as this one. Until then, astawdi'ukum Allahu alladhi la tadi'u wa da'i'u. Subhanakallahu wa bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka atubu alaykum. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. You're crazy.